So today we're gonna be doing a video on the PPE race fuel plug. I have an absolutely bone stock 2007 LBZ Duramax that's still under 100k miles. It's only at like 95 right now. It was at 89 when I bought it. It's bone stock except for a PPE tuner that's on it. And uh, how to do this? One of my buddies did it on his truck. I said it's worth every dime. Only 30 bucks, so I said fuck it, why not? We'll be doing an install and a review on it. So just gonna do a little walk through the truck. Absolutely stock. OBZ. I did a 5% tint on it myself. You can tell. PPE tuner. The accelerator. I run it on tune two. I've tried three. Never tried four. Pop that. It's mint in here. Gets new shoes any day now. Supposed to be here on Wednesday. So I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to make 22 by 12s fit on a stock height LVZ. So the first step is going to be removing the glow plug module right here. So I ran into a bit of a problem. They used torque screws on mine. So I had to remove the glow plug module harness and the lead or whatever it is just to get to this. And I didn't even have that thing that pulled it on. So, okay, so after you get it off, I have mine up here. I have, since I have both the leads disconnected, I didn't have that, the plate that goes onto here and connects here. There's the plug right there. Let's get that out, 18 mil. So what I just did was, I got a belt sander and sand this down to flat to get rid of that bevel because there's barely any thread or the hex part of the nut sticking out of it. So I did, I saw another guy do this. He did this just so we could actually get full grip on it so you don't strip it and get it stuck in there. Mine seems to be pretty seized. So I'm gonna try and get this out. Wish me luck. So this is the old one and this is the new one. That's the spring right there that goes up to let the gas back into your gas tank and relieve the pressure in the fuel rail. This is the plug that plugs it. Doesn't let any of the pressure go, so you get all the all the diesel in the motor wants. Just pulled this one. It was a little hard. I had to put two wrenches on top of each other to break in. I got my dad out so we could hold the back of it on so I didn't strip anything because there's barely any that comes out. Wait. Oh, that's nice. It looks like there's a bit more chunk on that than there is on that. Barely any, but a little bit more, which is nice. Whenever you're doing the O-ring, grab the diesel that was coming out and rub it on this ring before you put it in to make it seal better. You're supposed to use a torque wrench, but I'm not. I'm going to do it by hand and just keep checking it. The correct torque is 74 foot-pounds. All right, so this should be the finished product to get it in. That's what she looks like. Be in there. Now you just slap everything back on at on there. Well, most of you probably have the plastic piece that goes across there and grabs this. I don't, so I'll just slap that back on. Then last thing, just go back in and make sure nothing's leaking. So now we have the PPE race fuel plug in. We're gonna just do a little test. It's on tune two of the PPE tuner. It runs pretty clean on this though. after the install and this is the old one so as you can see it is absolutely fine after driving it there's really no difference i did more research on it so mine's an lbz if you have an lb7 or an lly their spring lets off at 20,000 psi i believe and then the lbz this one lets off at 25,000 psi 
So the only time you're really gonna get that high of a spike in an LBZ is almost never. It's only when you floor it, let go real quick, and then floor it again. And even then, it's bad for the injectors. So try not to do that. Other than that, it's good for the LOI and the LB7, but if you have an LBZ and you think it's fine already, it might be worth it to you, it might not. It's all a preference, but you can just leave it in. You're not gonna find any difference. It's only when the truck's really old, maybe like 200,000 miles, like my dad's one. We're thinking we're gonna put this one in my dad's now because we think his spring doesn't have enough strength in it where it's not fully opening where and it's not fully closing. It's like just stuck in the middle. So it's always giving fuel back to the tank so we think we're gonna put this one in and see how it does but other than that if you're not having that happen to you it's not really worth it too much but i said screw it and i just did it and i know a lot of you are gonna do it too so good luck